Yeah. Hello Mazer, welcome to the Pride. I'm Matt Carr. And I'm Hannah Carr. And we actually have some updates and announcements today, so stick around. Yesterday, Governor Herbert announced that all schools are dismissed for the rest of the year. Honestly, this doesn't really change anything for us, but our administration will be releasing an official statement later today. Seniors, it's time to start looking towards graduation. Because we'll be social distancing, we need you to record your name and send it to Gerber. The details are in your email and on the senior classroom stream. Don't feel like you're limited to maze or extracurriculars. Are you a Dungeons and Dragons master? Do you ride horses? Maybe you're an artist who you've taken in advanced math classes. Nobody is just one thing. So celebrate you. Your deadline is Friday, May 1st. Tomorrow is the Great Utah Shakeout, our statewide earthquake drill. Since we are in school, I would love to see you have an earthquake drill at home. Remember, drop, cover, and hold on unless you are in bed. If you are in bed, roll onto your stomach and cover your head with your pillow. Send your earthquake drill selfies to printcom at mazerprep.org. That's printcom with two M's. And now for an automotive lesson with Coach Kemper. Hi, Mazer. So today we're going to talk a little bit about car maintenance, and I have my friend Matthew Pritchett here to help us. So I'm going to cut over to him, and he's going to explain a little bit about what he's going to do. Hey, Mazer. Matt Pritchett here. Safety. Safety is paramount. Safety glasses. When you get a car off, you use a jack, and then you use jack stands under exactly where the car's manual tells you where to put it. All right, so I have my safety glasses on. I have my latex gloves on so that my hands don't get too dirty. Uh, so what you will need, um, I have this flashlight. I have a oil catch pan. I'm gonna be using this oil uh, for my car. I'm gonna use most of this. I have my oil filter. I have my socket wrench with the appropriate size socket. Mine calls for a 17 millimeter. And then I have this oil filter wrench so that I can take the oil filter off. Then you're going to take the oil filter, grab some of that oil and put it on that gasket that's on the underside. That will allow for a really good tight seal for the oil filter. So, that's so. This is the oil pan. This actually holds the majority of the oil. You do actually have a bunch in the lines as well. This is the oil plug. This is what we loosen, and when it starts to drip, then we're gonna take the socket wrench off, and we're just gonna do it by hand. Okay, so that lug nut right there is the plug. This is the pan, that gold, cylinder with the black top that's actually the filter okay so i'm gonna do this very slowly and that's how fast it just gushes out i'm gonna go ahead and plug this back up so this is an oil wrench hopefully i don't break the filter like i have in the past and we just took the oil filter off so i'm just going to go ahead so I already have the oil on the outside. You can see that shiny, sticky looking stuff. That's just oil. And tighten it, and that's it. That's as far as I need to go for the oil filter. You don't need to do it any tighter than that. Yep. So now that we're off the ground, we're going to go ahead and add the oil. And just by seeing the light through this oil, you can see how clean it should be. And now I'm going to go ahead and 
take more of Clean this. up his big old mess. Yep, I gotta clean up my mess. So now I'm just gonna put that back on. Turn on the car, let it run a little bit, check for a leak. I'm gonna take the dipstick, gonna clean it off with the paper towel. Put it back in, pull it out. You can see it's barely, barely mm -hmm. right there. Okay. I should probably add just a little bit more oil because you always check your oil level with the engine off. That's it for today, Mazer. We'll see you next time on The Pride. To me, Mazer means community. Uh, Mazer is a word that encapsulates my growth into the uh, morally, physically, and mentally into the adult and person that I want to be later in life. Mazer and the kids and my teacher friends, all of the faculty is more like my family. It is a community that I love, respect, and trust. Stay safe and stay healthy. Mazer has taught me how to find universal truths and how to apply them in everyday life and gain meaning because of that. I love my community and I miss you, Mazer.